Good afternoon, and welcome to our midweek installment of our devotional. Today is April 8th, 2020. But before we start talking about our devotional, I would like to remind you that this coming Friday is Good Friday. And the Missionary Church has declared Good Friday, April 10th, as a day of fasting and prayer, where we as a church stop, pause, and just reflect completely on Him. And there's three specific things we're going to pray about. So if you are interested in praying and fasting on Friday, please let me know. If you haven't received the instructions, the specific prayer request, please call the church or call or send me an email, and I'll be more than happy to get them to you. Because I think it is going to be a phenomenal time when we as an entire body just fast and pray and present these times to our Father. But for our devotional, today, I was, uh, well, actually, earlier in the week, I was reading Revelation chapter 1, verses 17 and 18. And I would like to share with you something that God put on my heart after I read that. So let me share the scripture with you. Revelation chapter 1, verses 17 and 18. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys to death and to Hades. You know, we, as children of God, we live technically in two places at the same time. We live physically here on earth, but we live in spirit with our Lord. Uh, it was kind of described to me best one time when I was told that, you know, we may work here on earth, but we reside with our Father. And while this may sound wacky to some, this has really helped put things into perspective for me as I was reading these verses. See, Paul wrote these uh, when he was describing an experience he had when Jesus was revealing things to him. And uh, I just was thinking that, man, if I was in, in, in John's place and I just saw the magnificent, glorious light of our God, saw the magnificent light of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I would fall at his feet too. I would just be prostrate on the ground at his feet, just over, overwhelmed by his presence and his glory. But you know, we do live here on earth and uh, we do at the same time live in spirit with him. I want to encourage you to let go of this physical side just a bit, just for a time. And, and but because what's happening is during these these days we have these stay at home orders or uh, shelter at home or or or, or iso uh, uh, isolation whatever you want to call it what it really amounts to is we are being isolated because of some scary things going on in our world around us uh, but in our isolation we have a tendency to, to, to worry and focus on the physical things. I mean, we're isolated for, the, for our own safety. We're isolated for the safety of our families. And we're also isolated for the safety of others. But we're focusing on the physical things. That We're focused on death. We're focused on our health. We're focused on our boredom. We're focused on trying to find ways to entertain ourselves or even worse, trying to find ways to entertain our children or even entertain ourselves. So, I would like us to stop and just not focus so much on the physical aspects. I mean, let's focus on the spiritual. Let's focus on where we reside spiritually. Let's focus on Jesus. I mean, because Jesus told us here in these verses not to fear, but he told us so much more. I mean, I could only imagine. <laughs> That's a song called. But I could only imagine what it would be like to just to see his glorious splendor and his amazing, bright, magnificent, shining light, I would be flat on my face at his feet. And then I'd even imagine even more that as I'm laying there, that my Jesus kneels down beside me and he places his right hand on my shoulder. You know, that right hand, when I read in scripture, it kind of means three things. It, it, the first one is it is a, it's a place of honor. The second one is it's a blessing. But in this case, my Jesus is placing his right hand of strength on me, telling me, do not fear. I am alive. 
I am alive, he tells me. He says, I was here in the beginning. I will be here in the end. Uh, but I did die for you. And I did arise for you. And there's nothing, there is nothing that is going to catch my Savior by surprise. Because he himself holds the key to death and to hell. I have nothing to fear because I have that reassuring strength that he provides with his strong, mighty right hand sitting firmly on my shoulder. Nothing to fear. But you know, in these times, we do focus on the physical things. We do focus on our health. We do focus on our isolation. We focus on our loneliness. I want to encourage you to take time and stop focusing on those and focus on the spiritual side because the reality is we do have a lot of time on our hands so what are you doing with your time what are you doing with the added time that you have i would like to encourage you to use this time to draw closer to him take some of that time and read his word Spend time in his word. I would you like to take some of your time and spend it in communication with him, just sitting and talking with our Lord. And then I would like you also to take some time just to stop and listen to our Lord. Let's make him, make Jesus a priority in our life right now. Don't focus on the physical. It's the reality that we have here on earth but the reality that we have in spirit is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if we take time these, in these coming days just to focus completely on him, focus it, it is going to be amazing what he will do in your heart and what he will do for you. May God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.